Okay, it's story time now because you can only play the accordion so long before your shoulders get sore. So, as promised, I'm going to tell you the story behind a tune I wrote the other day called Admiral Splinterbutts. Real. And so, Admiral Splinterbutt was, that wasn't his real name, and he was an Irish sailor in, um, in the British Navy back when uh, having a cannon on a ship was a fairly new invention. And he was an enlisted sailor at the time and also a noted fiddler. He would always fiddle for the dances on the, um, on the ship whenever they were, you know, slacking off and not doing their jobs and they'd be dancing and he'd be playing the fiddle. Um, and that was one of the tunes that he played a lot. Now how he got his name. So one day he was up in the crow's nest, um, doing normal lookout duties and they went into a fight with another ship that had a cannon mounted. And that was a fairly new thing at the time. And during the course of the battle, the cannon fire uh, hit the mast of the, the crow's nest was on. And it, you know, toppled. And um, the sailor jumped out of the crow's nest onto the mast, straddled it, which was quite painful, and he slid all the way down this rough mast, um, a straddle, and lost his pants along the way, which was quite embarrassing. <laughs> um, went on to uh, be very instrumental in the battle and destroy the other ship, etc, etc, all the cool, gory, bloody details. And, um, yeah, he could not sit down for over a month after, due to all the splinters in his behind. And so he came to be known as Admiral Splinterbutts, um, after he became an admiral. Because he was at the time an enlisted sailor, he became, came to be known as Splinterbutts, and when he got the title of admiral, and then he died. And no one could remember the name of the tune that he played. So they just called it Admiral Splinterbutts because he was the only one they'd ever heard play it. So that is the tale behind the tune. And I hope you realize I made this all up on the spot, but it is an interesting tale, is it not? Thank you for listening. I'll be back with another story whenever you ask me to be.